Hello there, it's Simone. I'm so glad you are joining me today for my Currently Inked, where I am going to be writing um, in my Currently Inked journals. I have three, a Tomoya River notebook, a Co Cosmo Aerolite and an MD paper notebook. And um, I just recently changed out my inks from where is the palette from this palette to this palette and i want to show you um, what these write on the different papers if you are interested on how these performed how i enjoyed writing with the inks and the different pens that they were in um, how i chose this new color palette i have a video on screen not on screen. I have a video linked in the description box. It's the last video that I just published where all of that is laid out in a long video. Today, I just want to <clears throat> sample them, write them out in these books. Um, so let's get started. This is what it looks like on the coloring cards. I'm currently using the Spicy Chipotle because the pen that this ink is going in is not here yet. I will switch this out in the beginning of June when I hopefully have emptied out uh, the ink that is in the pen that I'm using it in right now. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to get started. This is the Pelicano Junior. This pen is, I don't know how many years old. I just found it in a drawer of my son and it was still inked from second grade. Um, yeah, he didn't use it for that amount of time and I cleaned it and I wanted to try writing with it. It has a rubbery grip section and the places where your fingers are should go are clearly marked. So there is one spot for your middle finger where you rest the pen on, then one for your um, index finger and then one for your thumb. When I write with it like that, it feels weird. The nib is also interestingly called an A nib. That is probably stands for Anfänger, which means beginner. Um, so this pen is the... How am I doing this actually? Let me just check the pen and then the ink in the, in the second row. Okay. Pelicano Junior with an A nib. I would actually say that might equal a B nib, but since I know that Pelican nibs are usually pretty bold, it might just be the same as an M nib for them. And then the ink that I chose for this, this is my fun ink, is the Diamine um, Wonderland. And it's from the Inkvent 21. My windows are open, my my window that is right next to me is open because my cats are sitting there hunting. So that's why you might hear people or other street noise. This is the Custom 74 um, with an M nib. It's the only gold nib that I own. It's currently <clears throat> my favorite pen. And I inked it up with Robert Oster. Um, did I write Mik Micah Fines? Nope. Uh, this is a collaboration between Endless Pens, Micah Fines, and Robert Oster. And this colorway is called Campfire Crackle. And I had a gray ink in here before and it irritates me that it 
look so dirty. But um, when I look at the ink swatch, which I put somewhere, I don't know where, then it might just be what it is. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> this is definitely one of those, looks very dirty. And the next ink that I have um, is this one. This is the Lamy Safari. Pink with an F nib. And it feels really hard right now. It's like not as bouncy as the Custom 74. Um, and that the ink that is in here is Monte Verde. Kindness Pink. And that is uh, also really dirty, which um, I find quite interesting that I chose two that are pretty similar. So I am going to do this that way. And I definitely had an ink accident here. <clears throat> Then this is a leftover that looks like it's going to be emptied out before I'm going to be uh, filming another video, or at least that's what I hope. My parents are coming to visit in June and I don't know how much time I'll have. Twipsy? Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I can't talk. So these letters are switched. Uh, how much time? Twisby? Vac. 700 R iris with a medium nib. <clears throat> I don't know how much time I actually have to write. I guess I'll see when it happens. But then I guess the next video will be how will these inks hold up in the fountain pens? if they haven't been used for a month. That might be another video that could be quite interesting. This is the... Uh, Kaweko. Iridescent. Pearl um, with an M nib, and the ink is Vinta Tala 1980. With, with this ink, I'm not sure if this is a sheening ink or a shimmering ink. Here it doesn't look like it, but sometimes it does. So I'm curious to see what that looks like. The next one is a shimmering ink for sure. This one is another Kaweko. And these both are Kaweko collections, so they are <clears throat> limited edition pens. And the color is cyan, also an M nib, and the ink is diamine. Sub zero um, ink vent. Uh, as you can see, this ink has amazing shading properties. Even though it's a shimmer ink, I love it. I would take it without the shimmer any time, any day, because I just can't. Um, I'm curious to see. So these three above here, these three and this one, I have not used yet. So I can't really speak to the performance and the shading, shimmering, sheening properties of these inks. I'm curious to use them all. That's the fun of switching out the inks, I, I think. This one is one, if you've watched the other video, you know that I already told. So let me try to write this correctly. Twist B, swipe. And I know the name of this pen is not what it seems. Prussian Plume, Prussian Plume. Prussian 
blue M nib seems to be my favorite and it is um, <clears throat> I had a lot of trouble with this pen and ink combination my my su suspicion is that it is the ink there's a lot of shimmer in there it gunked up the pen it clogged the pen multiple times this is Robert Oster and it's called stargazing um, it's basically now you can't really see it but when I write with it most of it is shimmer and if you look at the eye I should probably look through the viewfinder let me hope I can show you I guess I can on the I guess I, I, I put these together in different order. This one is not here anymore. Um, so the swatches, maybe I didn't shake it up enough, but I made sure that the, the bottom of the, the bottle was clean when I swatched these inks. So both of them were shaken up really well. Um, and then this one has this much shimmer and this one is barely noticeable. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to see how that works out when it's, when it's all done and dusted. And I've written with these pens for a while and inks and see how they work. And then I have the second to last pen that I have inked is the Franklin Christoph model 45 and it has model 45 and it has an M nib. I switched it from my Opus 88. Uh, the color is also the Robert Oster Endless Pens Mica Finds um, collaboration. And this one is Tea Time. This Tea Time, the Sub Zero are amazing shaders. Um, I had one inked the Soft Kitty, Warm Kitty. That's the gray in that collection. It's another amazing shading ink. I seem to prefer shading inks more than sheening and shimmering inks. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I guess those things also change over time. Right now, that's my preference for sure. This one is the Opus 88 Coloro in the red. And then the nib is a Sig medium nib from Franklin, Franklin Christoph. The Sig stands for Stop Italic Gradient and I'm getting more used to this um, nib and I feel like my handwriting now looks a bit better than it did before. I didn't, it didn't, wasn't very um, cohesive and so I wasn't sure if I liked this but I think the more I practice the more um, cohesive and nice my handwriting looks with with this nib so that's definitely a win in my book let's do this one more time in the md notebook i think i'm just going to talk about the things that i possibly forgot while i was doing the swatching and talking at the same time with the uh, custom 74 i feel like this ink, the Robert Oster Campfire Crackle, is the wettest ink in this pen so far. It feels like a fire hose. That's what Carrie from Pens and Tea often says. And I have never experienced something like that before. I'm not sure if I extremely like it because it always feels like it puts so much ink on there, like it splatters out. Um, so we'll see over time how how my writing experience and everyday experience is with this 
pen and ink combination. And with the Lamy, I'm not sure if it's the fine nib, if I should switch it back to an M nib, but you know, it's okay, but it's definitely not my favorite. There's more pens that excite me than than this Lamy, and I, I, I'm pretty sure that I will just keep them for funsies and playtime with inks that I might not be sure if, if I would want to have them in any other pens. And yeah, it doesn't, it's one of those that you can put in your, in your pocket and it's okay if, if something happens to it. Uh, I do enjoy the writing experience with the Kawekos, the sport, the plastic sport models, the ones that are really cheap, um, more now which is interesting because when i first started getting into fountain pens <coughs> back into fountain pens i purchased a kaweko and something wasn't right with that pen uh that i actually gave it away and decided not to buy anymore and i'm glad i actually the cyan color actually made me go buy buy it again um i think i said it before I, my most exciting inks at the moment are the shading inks. I love when just by putting down different amount of inks on the paper, like here, the Robert o Oster Tea Time or the Sub-Zero as well, the Diamine. That is something that really, that I just, oh, I, if I could choose inks, then I would just take shading inks. And I think I'm almost done with this writing sample. I'm going to come back and compare the three different papers one more time. This, the MD paper, is for sure my least favorite one. It always feels like the pens make this scratchy. It's not scratchy, but they, they sing loudly. Um, so yeah, and I'm wobbling around with the paper and I'm really sorry for that. I was trying to show you the shimmer but that is almost sickening. So let's get to that and then I will let you go. Uh, let me know especially what you think about dividing the review and the choosing of the inks from the actual swatching part in the comments below. Unfortunately, even if I wanted to, I can't hold three books with two hands but let's compare First, the Cosmo Air Light on the right and the Tomoe River. <coughs> Nibs are always broader on the Cosmo Air Light than the Tomoe River. And then the uh, MD paper, they appear finest. I have the biggest feedback on the MD paper um, with the shimmer. It seems like there's hardly any shimmer to be able to de be detected on this paper. There is on both the Cosmo Air Light and the Tomoe River. I feel like it's most prevalent here on the stargazing that would fit with my observation that it's just so <clears throat> gunky. And then the sub zero is easy to be there's always a little bit of shimmer um where it looks like it's shading there's also shimmer and then i feel like this is not just a shimmer but also a sheening ink so it's often uh, on the other one i saw it looked really gray this is a sheening ink that you can clearly see right here i'm not sure about this one yet <clears throat> And then there's hardly any shimmer to be found in the campfire crackle. And let's, I love how the shading looks on this, this, and this one has a nice shading too. This one, not so much. It's pretty flat. Same as this one <clears throat> and this one. So here is the MD paper doesn't really have a lot of um, variation in the writing as the others do, but it still, it works. So let me just check for the here. I think here the, the ink almost looked gray 
because there was so much shimmer to be found in this ink. Yeah. If you're still here, then you are the reason why I make those videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please do all the things to support YouTubers. Like, comment and subscribe. Tell your friends about me and I will see you soon. Bye.